Thanks for joining me in Noir Alley. I'm your host, Eddie Muller. This week, the best actress in movie history, Barbara Stanwyck, stars in The Strange Love of Martha Ivers. Stanwyck donned some incredible outfits courtesy of the legendary Edith Head. And because of that, I am joined today by Edith Head experts and authors Vince Keenan and Rosemary Keenan. It's good to have you guys back on the show. It's great to be Happy here. to be here. Okay, very good. Now, before we get to uh, talking about the meat of this, which is Edith Head and her relationship with Barbara Stanwyck, I do just want to point out that um, this film is written by a guy who was like starting his somewhat meteoric rise in the business that would be cut very short in 1951. Uh, that's Robert Rawson, the writer who had written um, A Walk in the Sun just before this, also directed by Lewis Milestone. It's a little weird to see Lewis Milestone making a noir film. It's like the only one on his resume is this one. And it's from the maker of All Quiet on the Western Front. Ex Not the guy you'd think of for noir. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he does a hell of a good job with this one. It's phenomenal. But enough of that. <laughs> Let's get to... <laughs> Uh, Edith Head, and of course the reason you guys are an expert on Edith Head is because you have this series of books, Designed for Dying and Dangerous to Know, the first two of this series, in which Edith Head solves crimes. Yes. Right? Yes. There's not enough on her plate being the head costume designer at Paramount. She also has to solve crimes in Hollywood. Okay. Somebody brilliant, has to do it. Brilliant <laughs> idea. Keep right. the streets safe. And we know there's just crime infested Hollywood in yes. this time, Definitely. so it's, it's brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant idea. But Tell me about Edith Head's relationship with Barbara Stanwyck. Well, so Edith started working with Barbara Stanwyck um, in 1937 or so um, with the film Interns Can't Take Money. But Travis Banton at that point was the lead designer at mm -hmm. Paramount. And he took one look at Barbara Stanwyck and said, she's no glamour post. I have, I'm not interested in designing for her. And palmed her off on Edith Head, who said, what a great opportunity. You know, this is a fantastic actress, obviously. I'm going to turn her into a clothes horse because she definitely wasn't at that point. Mm -hmm. um, so she, was, she, she was basically paying, playing tough, brassy, big city women and hadn't had the opportunity to do a lot of dress pictures. Uh, right. And right. Edith was going to change that. And she did. So um, really starting with 1941 with the Lady Eve, mm -hmm. she designed just this gorgeous, glamorous wardrobe for Barbara Stanwyck in that film. And Edith was great at working that fashion magic. She could camouflage figure flaws. And so Barbara Stanwyck, you may not have recognized this, had a very long waist and kind of a low slung derriere. So Edith's solution to this is um, she would make the waistline so that the front was higher and wider and the back was lower and narrower. And that kind of gave the illusion of maybe a little lift yeah. in the backside. And it allowed Stanwyck to wear straight skirts. Which she'd never been able to do before. Right. You look at all the films she made prior to her working with Edith Head, no straight skirts. Right, and it doesn't have that hmm. glamorous look. There's a scene at the end of Martha Ivers that just epitomizes that. The gown she wears, Barbara Stanwyck wears, in that last scene um, is gorgeous and has a wide waistband in the front, lower in the back, and even at one point, Stanwyck is standing in a doorway and there's the mirror of her vanity is behind her and you get a perfect shot of both the front and the back of the dress at the same you time. You can see the magic you can in see action. It happening. Yeah. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if Edith like dictated that shot. <laughs> like you have to put this in the show movie to off. show my work. Yes. You know? Fantastic. Yes. Now, and didn't she uh, have an opinion about Barbara Stanwyck's uh, legs? Yes, indeed. She said they were the best legs in the business, better even than Dietrich's. Wow. Which is saying something. Yes. That, is, that is definitely <laughs> saying praise. something. Yes, 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 indeed. So I want you guys to have the privilege of introducing this movie today. Wow. So are you ready? Yeah. Take it away. From 1946, starring Barbara Stanwyck, Van Heflin, Elizabeth Scott, and in his screen debut, Kirk Douglas. Here is the strange love of Martha Ivers. <laughs> 